So it goes a little bit like this. I want you guys to do this. So what we need to do is say, In the midst of the pandemic, we're back for you. How does that feel? So, check out my background over there. Whole lot going on, but um, I'm happy to say that the boy you love, the boy that you enjoy, is back. <laughs> yeah, man, guys. So, uh, we're continuing where we left off last time, and uh, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna learn a lot. The themes are gonna be packing, they're gonna be crazy, they're gonna be amazing. Hope you enjoy, okay? Oh, and one more thing. It's time to upload. And one more thing. What a music industry South Africa has. The genres are countless. The personalities are huge. And every single day, it gets more and more dynamic. Monde B King. Langa King and Tuso Murabe occupy a space that is full of excitement, talent, and moments to treasure for life. With so much shown about them already, it's only fitting that we get to know these men better. In an industry full of ups and downs, with so much talent to enjoy, it's almost impossible to imagine trying to get through all the amazing acts that are on offer. Distinguishing yourself as an act is way harder nowadays and it's been a great pleasure to continue the offload journey with a musical act that is nothing short of talented, unique and exciting. The trio goes by the name of 9 to 5 and they fuse sounds from across multiple spheres to produce nothing but feel-good music. The footage that we just saw captures some of the diversity around the beautiful nation of South Africa. And now they're about to get to know 925 a bit better. There's no better place to start than checking out the energy that they bring in their live performance. Enjoy some of their hits to date, such as Gaslami, Slay Queen, and some of their material from their upcoming EP. Now let's go.
Oh yeah, we're gonna do this. This song is called Lana, and we're talking about you know finding in Dao and in Nandi, and in Kaya, and I just want <laughs> I just want to give you a little taste. Let's let's get it. Let's get it. I don't know about you, but seeing some of those amazing performances has me out of breath already. I've been a big fan of Slay Queen for the longest time, which was released before their EP from early 2020 called Carandini. By the way, the new material on the way is a huge level up. 
Nine to five have become a regular act at Johannesburg based venue called Kitcheners and have really developed a loyal following who are consistently ready to support them week after week, especially during their Monday night gigs, which are becoming quite the tradition. You know, it's not every day that three people who are so different can come together and create such magic together. And I'd really like to get to know them a bit better. I hope I'm not speaking for myself. It's a good thing the men are ready to speak for themselves. So let's hear from them. Hi, I'm Monde B. King. That's my stage name. Um, from nine to five. And um, so I play piano, write songs, sing. Um, I try to do it all. So like I, in every piece of nine to five, like I'm there. So like, <laughs> that's my personality. So uh, my, um, my favorite thing about just being in the band is like the whole unique element of what we do. We, we don't just do pop music. We do international pop music mixed with South African, you know, it's like a pop and salad and, you know, chicken, everything. Yeah, well, so we do it all short. What's up, guys? I am uh, Tuso. I am the producer, DJ. Um, I'm just, you know, like it's a group work. So I feel like everyone is responsible for each and everyone's roles. So I try my best to make sure that you guys get to hear what we feel and what we think. So, yeah, I just produce and I DJ. And yeah, we make good music all together, guys. Pow! Away, away, away. My name's Langa King. Uh, I'm a singer. Um, I'm a songwriter. I, I play guitar as well. You know, um, this is just a, a teamwork, you know. Uh, this is how we normally do. We we uh, share the work and we share the, our experiences with you guys and it translates to beautiful music, which we uh, we make. Yeah, well, so, away, thanks for the support. All right, guys, so we know that you have new material coming out very soon. Um, we've enjoyed Carantini so far. Everybody enjoys Slay Queen. We enjoy all the tracks that you've come up with so far. Um, but we're really excited to know that you guys are working on a new project. Um, so what I want to know is what kind of sounds are you experimenting with? And um, what else can we expect? And maybe a few things that we might know from Carantini that, Carantini that you're bringing in. To summarize, I feel like um, with Carantini, it was work that we've done before we just felt like the world was ending and we didn't want to you know keep the music to ourselves so if the world did end we'd have a project out but since we now know the world is not ending we decided to make a project for that and um we're experimenting with like afro pop but mixing it with what we we're doing before so more more vernacular content but we're still keeping the sound of the funk, the housey-ish feel, but we, 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 we really try and experiment with also African sounds, like, you know, taking things from, um, who's that guy from Nigeria? Um, not the video, the Salif Keita. Is he from Nigeria? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, that, those kind of people, you know, so like, we're trying to be more African and South African, but trying to be international as well. Um, Tuso will add. Uh, okay, cool. I think Monday summed up a lot of stuff. I'm going to talk more on the production side. Uh, like with this project, what we tried, do we were doing more funk. Quarantine was, quarantine was more funk and the stuff that we did in the past. And um, like I said, oh no, like he said actually, like there's a lot of phases that we went through. So now specifically with this project, it's more like experimenting and trying a more African approach, like he said. You know, we went for more ethnic sounds, like even the way we choose guitar riffs, guitar sounds or rhythms or whatever. It's more African. It's not like normal guitar that you'd hear on Ed Sheeran or you'd hear on whatever other, you know, pop song that's out there. So um, basically, yeah, on production, I'll keep it short. I'll give Langa an opportunity as well. What I think uh, has culminated from uh, the things that we've done is that um, our experiences from 
from I could say from birth up until now is um, has translated to the music that we're doing now. So I think all of the e elements uh, Monde and Tusu have mentioned, the African elements, the e uh, electronic elements, um, you know, the housey elements, they've uh, come and become this project that is what's coming out now. So um, I hope you enjoy it. We we are so proud of this body of work and uh, Awe, I hope you, you enjoy it. Awe. I'd like to hear more about what kind of collaborations you guys are looking forward to in the future. Um, also, what kind of sounds you think you're going to experiment with. And then let's think about also where you guys see yourself maybe in the next two years, right? Because it's always important to plan a bit ahead. Ne? Well, the kind of collaborations we're looking at, in the, even in Garantini now, we've collaborated with you know, a friend of ours we've We've known for a while, Tapelo, we know them for the UJ Choir, we collaborated with them on one of our songs. Um, and he's a vocalist that we really like. We're like, no, this guy um, has a, just a unique approach. We're like, let's collaborate, co collaborate, sorry, English, with him. And um, I think it was a unique thing to do that. And then another friend of ours, Paisin, very known in the industry, um, he's from Nigeria, but is you know he's, he's he's got a unique approach to music. So in our our EP now includes collab collaborations. Hey, this word. Um, so that, that that's what's come. Yeah, that's what's coming through, and and we see ourselves collaborating with people that are our friends as well that that we know so that we grow with them as well as making new friends in the industry you know i like guys like more sun air more like coffee and many other people shakana all of them are dope you know so it's nice to work with all of them i, I think i'm open-minded i could work with an african artist with the guys it doesn't matter as long as someone has the same energy as us we want to work with people and make unique music let's not make do things that have been done before let's let's create a new thing Tuzo. I'm going to pick up from where Monde uh, was talking. So it's basically he said almost everything. So um, in terms of future collaborations, I'd say it doesn't really matter specifically if I name drop or whatever. It's just someone, people that can relate to the music, understand what we're trying to do. And together we make an idea that's amazing come to life. But right now with life experiences, what we have learned is that working with the closest people that we know, that we grew up with, like from a couple of years ago, you know, having relationships is much more solid than trying to just name someone who's big. Even though we'd like to work with big people it doesn't really <laughs> sure. matter yeah but anyways uh yeah like future collaborations anyone that uh like the people monday mentioned even international people you know i don't know james blake maybe one day yeah, we awesome. never know yeah. uh we can push it as much as we can we never know like we don't want to cap anything that we want to do and yeah you know it's not just even about big names more instrumentalists people that have much more solid uh like I don't know, like is whoa yeah, grounding of the musicness. You you know when someone is good at what they do, if we go to Ghana and we work with someone that's dope from there, it's going to be something that's unique that the world will never, you know, get. So I value those kind of things more. So yeah. Yeah, to keep it short, I think um, what we love as a band and what we're all about is um, is not boxing ourselves, you know. We can work with almost any type of musician, not almost, like all types of musicians because music is about feeling and it's about, you know, um, uh, telling stories and it's about uh, um, being yourself, your true self. So that's what we try to do. Um, in terms of collaborations, I think we, we'd like to collaborate collaborate with um, almost anyone you know the, the 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 from the Ricky Riggs to the AKAs to the Zola to the you know anyone who can uh, um, who can give insight in, in terms of our growth because uh, they are very well informed in in how the the, the industry works and we we'd like to look at them as big brothers who will help us you know uh, uh, configure how things work so I think we're very open-minded uh, you know the Amifakus uh, all of the type of uh, great singers that are out here in South Africa we're willing to work wow it's been quite the journey so far look the more we get to know 9 to 5 the more you'll get to see just how talented they truly are in all this excitement I'll never forget how much I owe all of you for your support 
and I'm really looking forward to continuing the offload journey with you guys with all the upcoming material that you're gonna see. As I said before, we're going forwards, not backwards. Bigger and much better than ever. We're ending things in a big way. And I hope that you guys are ready for a ride that's true to what you've come to know, but also something pretty expansive as well. Until next time. <laughs>